Hi, I received this blog in my chat on WhatsApp and they asked me to put it up. And this lady is complaining about the treatment that her particular family member has gotten from the Queen Elizabeth Hospital. She is saying that he made several trips to the hospital and he was in pain and he was diagnosed with having gallstones and they're so bad that they're saying that they could affect his pancreas and he, he requires gallstone or bladder removal. But anyhow, she's saying that her family member doesn't have the money. It is fifteen to twenty thousand dollars for the surgery if you do it outside of the Queen Elizabeth Hospital. And the thing is that if a doctor can get the fifteen or twenty thousand dollars between fifteen and twenty thousand, why would they do it free at the Queen Elizabeth Hospital? So they're saying this is what she's saying. She's saying that they are saying that the list is so long. There's a long list and they don't know when he will be able to get this surgery, which would be free at the hospital. And he should go to a private doctor. That's what they're telling him. And she's saying that it's a four hour surgery and fifteen to twenty thousand dollars for four hours. That's how she's looking at it. And she's saying that they even offered the private doctor half down and then half after and the doctors want it all up front they don't want to be running down anyone for no kind of money they want the money up front they want it cleared at the bank they want to make sure that it's good money in their account before they schedule anyone for surgery so she is complaining that the doctors in Barbados are all about money. They're all about money. They're not about saving lives. And she also mentioned that a lot of young, because the person she's talking about is under 40 years old, and she is saying that a lot of young black males in Barbados are ill from this particular thing. I don't know if it's eating too much red meat, if it's eating too much greasy food, you know, sometimes that that um, ham cutter could have been some a lot of fat with it. I don't know. You don't. You never know what it is. It could. It could just be how your body works. But she is saying that a whole lot of black males in Barbados have the same very thing: the gallbladder problems and the you know bladder problems or whatever else. So um, she wanted me to put it out there so that people know you must get insurance you need insurance and if you don't have insurance make sure you have some money on the bank because when something comes up the queen elizabeth hospital the people there are saying the list is full you know we'll put you on the list but we don't know when we'll be able to schedule you for surgery and then they schedule the surgery and it's cancelled and then they schedule it again and it's cancelled and in the meanwhile this particular guy is in pain. He's, he's not even working. You know, he's not, he's home from work because the last time he tried to work, he, he passed out. He fainted on the job and now he has a stiff arm and he's just, he's just not feeling well. So, um, that is what she wanted to get out there. And I think I got it all, but, um, yeah, she's saying that doctors in Barbados are all about the money and the Queen Elizabeth Hospital, the backlog, the backlog is making it impossible for young males in Barbados to get surgery in due order. Sure, Veronica.